I've had my framework laptop for about three months now. I thought I'd share some of my thoughts with you. Stick around. I received my framework laptop in mid-November 2021, having ordered it the previous month. I ordered the DIY edition and filmed the unboxing, which you can see here. My framework laptop specs are as follows. 11th generation Core i7 1165G7. I opted for the 500 gigabyte Western Digital Black SN750 NVMe drive. I also ordered the Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX210V Pro card. I didn't opt for an operating system or RAM because I already had 16 gigs of DDR4 sitting at the house and a licensed copy of Windows 10. Now, over the last three months, my framework laptop has gotten a lot of use. Literally every video I've put out since the unboxing of this computer has been edited and filmed on this computer. I've also started quite a collection of stickers, as you can see here. So over that three months, there's a lot of things that I've come to love about this laptop. The first of which is the keyboard. Now, according to Framework's website, the keyboard has 1.5 millimeters of travel, which is a lot more than a lot of the other laptops out there. It feels to me more like a physical keyboard than it does a keyboard that is embedded into a laptop. The keys also have a very soft feel to them. Like the texture of the keys themselves are, are very soft um, and it feels very luxurious to me. This makes typing very easy on the Framework laptop. Another thing I like about the Framework laptop is its size. Now the screen is 13 and a half inches with the rather odd 2256 by 1504 aspect ratio. Newer laptops are coming out with more of a rectangular view to them. While the Frameworks laptop screen, you can see here, is more, more of a square than anything else. Um, but that's okay with me, and it's very nice and very portable. I like the size, I like the weight, and I can carry it with me in pretty much any bag or just as is. If I need expandability at home, I have a Dell D6000 dock. Now this dock allows me to plug in via USB-C a microphone, a camera, two monitors, keyboard, mouse, and a myriad of other things. I also have an HDMI capture card so that I can stream my Switch or some other device while I'm on Twitch. So there are tons of options and this computer has not failed me once. And finally, one of my favorite things about this laptop is the ability to repair and service the device yourself. As mentioned before, I did purchase the DIY edition of this laptop. However, both versions of the laptop can be taken apart completely with one tool. This little double-ended screwdriver with a spludger. I haven't had much need to take mine apart yet, except to, one, show off the insides of the computer and how all the parts are individually QR coded so that you can find them easily on Frameworks website. And the other reason I took it apart was to add an additional 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM for a total of 32 gigs. That's my current configuration and I couldn't be happier. This computer is very zippy and handles everything that I need to do. Finally, an honorable mention of things that I like about this computer. And that's the modules that are found on the bottom of the computer. You can take out modules and add modules to the bottom of the computer as needed. Now, my original configuration was two USB-C ports, an HDMI port, and a USB-A port. And I did this because I figured I was gonna be using more USB-C ports than anything with my dock being able to handle a ton of USB-A, but if I was on the go and needed to just plug into an HDMI monitor, I could do that. There are more modules available on Framework's website, and there are 3D printable STL files for you to create your own module bodies. 
And a quick side note, if you are interested in what you can do with these modules, check out Elevated Systems on YouTube. He has several different videos on how he's created his own modules for his Framework laptop, including his own MagSafe charger. As I said before, I've been using the Framework laptop since mid-November, and since mid-November, I've been dual booting with Windows 11 and Pop! OS. I would exclusively be on Pop! OS, however, there are some applications that I just can't get to work properly and with ease in Pop! OS. One of them being my ability to record using a DSLR in OBS. Now, I can get it to work, but there are several different lines of code that I have to run in order to get that to work, and I have to do that every time, and it doesn't always work. So just for the sake of ease, I dual boot, I run everything through Windows, and do it that way. Most all of my studies and everything else that I do all go through the Linux partition on the computer. The only thing that I can say about the Framework laptop that's not a plus is the monitor hinge. Now, I don't often use the laptop in my lap. When I do, I notice that the lid of the laptop tends to have a little bit of wobble in it. It's not terrible, and it's not the end of the world, and I still am immensely in love with this laptop. This is a Generation 1 Framework laptop, and it's performed flawlessly for me. So if I have to pick, you know, a negative thing to say about it, that would be it. But honestly, I love this thing. It's well worth every penny I've spent on it. So here are my overall thoughts on the Framework laptop. If you're looking for a laptop that you can spec out to your exact specifications and put together yourself, the Framework laptop is for you. If you're looking for a laptop that is modular, and will give you the ability to pull out different ports and put different ports into the computer as you see fit on the fly, this computer is for you. If you're looking for a computer that you can upgrade and repair yourself with just one tool, this computer is for you. If you're into high-end, high-resolution graphics gaming, this computer is not for you. But it is great for everyday productivity, it's great for film editing. It's great for web browsing. It's great for everything else. So there's my three month review of the Framework laptop. Now, Framework did not pay me for this. As a matter of fact, I spent quite a lot of money on this laptop for my personal use. And all I can say are nice things about this laptop. If you're interested in a Framework laptop, I suggest you check their website out. I have put a link for that in the description below. I've also put a link in for Elevated Systems so you can see all the customizations he's done to his laptop and all the other cool things that he's done with parts from the Framework laptop. Once again, this has been another video from Reviews for Nerds. I'm Bryant. Thank you for watching and have a great day.